So I've been having a lot of fun going over to Reset Air lately and just seeing what's popping. What's the hot topic over at Reset Era? You can just go to trending threads and you can really see what hard-hitting gaming news is trending over there. If you don't know what Reset Air is, it's a video game forum that's supposed to be about video games. However, it's full of a lot of weirdos who are extremely NPC and they literally just try to rag on games they don't like, change the industry. I did a video the other day how they're going to push Japan. <laughs> they're going to push Japan and, and get more representation in Super Smash Brothers. Of course, when you look around the trending threads a little bit more, you find hot gaming topics such as this. This is a trending thread there. Married era. Do you have a hot wife? <laughs> what a story, Mark. And for those of you that might not know what that means, let's go to Urban Dictionary and find out exactly what that is. A married woman who has the freedom in her marriage to pursue actual relationships with men other than her husband. Her husband has full knowledge of her activities and consents to them. Now, if you listen to that definition and you think it sounds similar to something else, well, you would be right because it's pretty much almost the same thing. <laughs> And boy, we're at nine pages on this one. <laughs> nine pages. Keep in mind, this is a website that has the power to bring game developers to their knees. Discussing how great it is to exchange their wives and girlfriends <laughs> with, with other men. And how awesome it is to watch, <laughs> to watch their, their significant other enjoy a nice long one. <laughs> Man... You are one pathetic loser. So we move along in the thread. People are having a real conversation here, really talking about it. We got this person coming, not married. So not really an answer to the question, but yeah, we partner and I do this. Not surprising. Get this guy says, I'm not interested in navigating the complexities of an open relationship, nor do I have a thing for being a cuckooed. So nah, just a vanilla assed relationship for me. Thanks. This guy comes in and discuss the the uh, the roots of it. Of course, it's it's founded in these words right here. Of course, because everything is over on Reset Era. And then this uh, person comes in, Dixie Flatline. I married my husband because he's perfect in my eyes. Being with anyone else doesn't make sense to me, though everyone is free to live the life they choose as long as they're not hurting anyone. Banned. <laughs> guy comes in my wife and i have fooled around with it a bit she hasn't gone that far yet but we're working up to it it's pretty fun <laughs> of course being reset era we must discuss the ethics of things so this person says yeah i ain't got any particular issue with anyone who wants to swing but cut culture is exactly as racist as anyone who reads this thinks it is of course you got to be careful as well because you might have someone get a little upset about this. This person comes in, just looked at the Reddit. This is, uh, somebody said you could go look at the Reddit for the terms and get a little bit more knowledge on the situation in case you really hadn't known what it was. So just looked at the Reddit. And I don't think I've been affected by something in a long while. As someone that has been cheated on in the past, this and cuckolding generally feels like some inciting or triggering event for me. My hands are shaking and my blood pressure, my blood pressure is tangibly higher. How dare you? So the original poster of this thread is quite excited to talk about this. Now there's been a couple of people that have come in and made some jokes, but he's very anxious to discuss why he would be excited about this. Doesn't seem that he's actually taken part of it just yet, but he's talked about how excited he'd be, he would be to do it. So someone asked him, uh, would you be free to get it on with other women? And he says, I would have to discuss the terms with her and come to an agreement. I would definitely be a part of picking her dates. Kind of would turn me on to know if my wife was seen as desirable. But that's just me. And we have this hot take with a response from the original poster. Sharing is caring. It's a bit hard to explain the appeal of the setup 
So here's two bad analogies for it. Hot wife is like having your own personal porn star. A hot wife is like letting someone drive your sports car as a way of showing it off. <laughs> it's not kind of hot, not for everyone, but just feels super naughty. Ah, yes, watching uh, watching your loved one be with another person, I'm sure, is uh, is really sharing, is caring, and it's like watching somebody drive your car. And then a uh, taste on response. This is definitely an aspect to it for me. It would be a turn on knowing my wife or girlfriend is sought after. But at the end of the day, only me and her have this special connection together as we, em- me- as we mature emotionally. <laughs> now, I'm sure some people in the comments are going to go, why are you even talking about this? Why are you being so mean? Because I want to show off the kind of betaness that hangs out over on Reset Era. It blows my mind that this stupid website has the ability to bring the gaming industry to its knees. That these people can literally get games changed. These are the kind of people that help shape the games you play. And I'd also want to point out again that there's a lot of game journalists and video game developers on this website. So... Just remember from this video, (laughs) these are the kinds of people that are shaping the video games that you play. I want to show an example of the kind of sense of humor they have as well and how they take jokes. So what Zelda has the best design? Got a poll here. Or can of time, Wind Waker, Twilight, Skyward, Breath of the Wild, A Link Between Worlds, others specify. Now this is a normal gaming thread. You would go, okay, we're appreciating Zelda. However, you know, a lot of times people like to come in and crack jokes and stuff. So you see a lot of pictures of Zelda. Of course, everyone's loving Tetra. I wonder why they're loving her over on Reset Era. Even though, honestly, there's nothing wrong with that character. But there's much better designs for Zelda than the one that literally lives like a hobo in the sea. So, we go down here. What kind of... What kind of People are going to inject a little fun into the thread, have some fun, maybe crack a joke, you know, something like that. Oh, look, someone put a picture of Zelda bent over. Warned. (laughs) Inappropriate joke. (laughs) I'm honestly really shocked and surprised the guy didn't get outright banned. But I guess maybe, you know, they worked out a deal. He apologized and bent the knee in DMs. Maybe he wrote, you know, a 12-page uh, essay on why he's upset and sorry for posting the meme of Zelda's butt. That's a possibility. You never know with Reset Era because it's, you know, this is this is the heart of the NPC. This is the heart of it in gaming right here. I mean, you're, look, you're literally looking at uh, the devil when you go to Reset Era. So... You know, who who knows? Their punishments, I'm sure, are super extreme. I'm sure he turned in a 12-page, single-spaced essay saying how sorry, sorry he was and how wrong it was to post that picture of Zelda. Of course, what I find really funny is you would think these people would love to live with each other because they all, they all share the same values, right? Well, <laughs> somebody found this thread. And I've been saving it just to stick it in a video like this. If all expenses to migrate were taken care of for you, would you move to a town city where the core group was made up of like-minded Reset Era members? And they all said no. (laughs) Barely anybody on the thread says yes. I don't come to Era to talk to people, so no. And uh, some of y'all bathe like once every other month, so no thank you. (laughs) One person says, sure, I'll buy some Costco pizza. Honestly, since a lot of users hate spiders, I'd probably leave a tarantula in everybody's mailbox before getting kicked out. Every day there's at least one thread about someone not changing their underpants for a month or not taking a bath for a month. So no, I'm good. That's disgusting. (laughs) Every day there's at least one thread about someone either not changing their underpants or taking a bath. (laughs) All right, so I hope this was an informative video that showed you the kind of people that are shaping the video games you play. These people literally make at least the Western video game market bend to the knee. And these are the kind of people 
that are shaping everything. So I wanted to show that to you guys. Hope it was funny or at least weird or whatever, entertaining. That's it. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, share the video, make sure you're still subscribed, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.